Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you my e-bike. So let's start from the controller. Here is my first controller that I used. It's from Russia, uh, Adapto Max E. 150 amps at 84 volts. Uh, the first battery that I built was some old laptop batteries. 3000 watts brushless motor. I decided to get TRP Zurich brakes for e-bike with 203 millimeter discs. They are amazing, I highly recommend it. So after connecting everything, I did about 5000 km on the bike and the controller gave up, so I decided to get the new controller. Change most of the connection on the bike again. And here it is, a 24 fat Sabaton controller. I built the battery from Tesla Model S module. It took me probably two days to strip this down. The glue is really, really, really hard. I used six millimeter prospects to build this battery. Each cell is separated one and a half millimeter from each other. It looks really, really nice. And guess what? After riding for a while, I burned another controller. That happened because there was no cooling system inside the frame. Controller overheat and solder just melted on the PCB board. It was a shortcut and that's it. Let's come back to the most expensive part of the bike, which is the battery. 3.2 kilowatt hour, 240 cells. Each cell has fuse from negative and positive terminal, which is pretty good. And here I put two small fans. So because of the cells are separated one and a half millimeter from each other, the air is blowing through both of modules. So that's great for cooling. The BMS has Bluetooth, so everything is connected to the phone. You can change all the settings on the battery, which is like minimum voltage cutoff, maximum voltage cutoff, temperatures and all that. Also, the controller has application too. So you can change all the settings like current, power, torque, maximum speed, ATC, ATC. So probably you're gonna ask me how much that all cost me. Well, the answer is simple, too much. This bike is giving me so much fun. It's great to ride that it's absolutely priceless. <music> Suspension is from DNM company, I believe they are from Australia. 220 rear, 200 mm front, preload, rebound, everything is adjustable, great piece of equipment. I put also radiators on the engine that helps cooling down the magnets because the engine is going really hot if you're riding hard and it just becomes less efficient then. Mm -hmm. 